at this point, just kind of monitoring everything. Now I'm going to put the armrest on, and I remember that I counted out to the three and four lugs. Armrests are always tricky. It's kind of easier to go like this, banjo up like this, so you can see what you're what you're aiming for with this little hexagon screw. I'm not going to make this as tight as, as, as I could. I'm going to wait for just a minute because I'm still going to adjust some more in the tension rods, in the lug nuts, and so I don't want to make this have to work against uh, bringing these down and then having this have to bind on those. So that's still just a little bit kind of movable. At this point we're going to put the strings back on. tailpiece is now connecting to this piece of metal which we attach the ground to. So I've got ground going to the tailpiece, touching all the rest of the metal on the banjo as well as the wood, so it's grounding out uh, nicely. And now I, if once I get the tension of the strings up on here, I'll be able to set the bridge, intonate the bridge, and now I'm going to slip the bridge in. So here's my bridge. I'm coming in underneath the strings. It's got to be intonated, so I'm not worried about where the bridge is just yet. But somewhere, my guess is that it's going to be somewhere in this area. Okay, so here's kind of the final uh, test here is that the strings are all lined up over the pole pieces and going into um, the neck area. And I'll bring the strings up to, um, up to tension. Okay, this is not up to uh, full tension on the strings yet, but it is going to give me an idea of, of how much puckering the bridge is going to do to where my head is on the pressure of the head. So here I look back and I can tell that that's puckering quite a bit. Um, so I have a little bit more. That's pretty low, pretty much too low. So, so I'm going to give this another go around on the tension. starting to come along I think. Okay now that I've gotten that done I'm going to give this just a little bit of a turn like a that much it's like a very not a big uh, gorilla strength turn or anything. Um, It's 
Sounds like a banjo. Always a good sign. Okay. Now, just going through my checklist real quick. I've got my grounding wire and nothing else is uh, uh, loose. All the tension bars are good. All of these guys are good. You will have to, in a month or so, go back and just give that maybe a little teeny, uh, uh, just a teeny little pinch around each one of those, uh, just to make sure that as the head has settled in the first month or two, there's very little settling, but you know you might as well take a look and monitor and make sure that. That once it acclimates to uh, whatever um, your environment is, um, you can fine tune that head. And as I said, there's tons of things on the web to talk about what what pitch to uh, place your head at. Well, this thing is almost done. but you're ready to plug in if you ever need to so well that concludes the installation of a uh, good banjo banjo pickup system in a beautiful banjo by Deering the John Hartford model we're at the Telluride Bluegrass Festival 2009 thanks so much for watching <laughs>